That's the emergency? One of them. The other is that I'm stuck to the drain. Well, that is, the drain is sucking my left buttock. I mean, it was fun for five minutes, but now it's painful. That's it? Jane, I was in the middle of my date with Steve. Well, so it's a win-win. You're rid of Steve, and I'm rid of the ass-sucking hot tub. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm leaving. No, you'll adapt. You'll, you'll, you'll grow gills, and you can live in there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not your terrible boyfriend. Please, please, please get me out. I have to go poopy. Oh, wow. I found the spot. Is everything okay? Does it look like everything's okay? Yeah, it, uh... It looks like you're having a nice time in the hot tub. I'm not. My tushy is stuck to the drain. All I need is for one ass cheek to be bigger than the other. It's bad enough my boobs are uneven. Wait, you, you, your, your boob was stuck in the drain, too? What the hell is going on over here? Stop imagining me naked and pull me out. Okay, Jane, enough. For someone who needs so much help, you're being very hostile. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is it gonna... No! No, 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 it's nice. It'll be fun. Mm. Now, excuse me, love to chat, but my number two is priority one. <laughs> She's classy, that one. Really class. Yeah, these are the kind of wacky adventures us gals get into. Oh, yeah, so it's not all pajama parties and uh, topless pillow fights? Sorry. Thursday is ass stuck in hot tub day. <laughs> you know, you are so funny. You should be writing my movie instead of those clowns I hired. Hey, Mr. Big Hollywood producer. Don't be mean to little people. Marguerite, well, let's pour the paper. We need some tissue. Mm. Shut up already! Oh, so, you want to come in? Uh, not so much. It's just as well, you know, I have to get up early. I have to be on set tomorrow morning. <laughs> I love how you say on set instead of on the set. I've never dated a guy who dropped his bed. Yeah, well, I never dated a girl who makes it so hard for me to leave. I'm about to use your oh. Okay, go before you stop liking All right. me. Call me. Okay. I found your secret backup role, Sneaky. I see you hoard the quilted stuff. Jane, what the hell were you thinking? What was I thinking? I was thinking I was going to have to cut my own ass off like that hiker guy in Colorado. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? Well, if you don't know, then what are we fighting for? Big hug! We're fighting about the fact that you completely ruined my date. You're always asking me to do things you should be able to do yourself. Like what? Like... Pull yourself out of a goddamn hot tub. Don't you think I tried? I have no upper body strength. I'm a marshmallow. There is a gym four feet from this apartment. Uh... That's not the point. I am not going to be your codependent co-conspirator anymore. I do not like your tone, nor do I understand what you just said. Ever since we moved here, you have been needier than a giant vodka-swilling baby. Or, or, or a very old person, or a head injury victim of any age. Marjorie, help me! I'm stuck in the shower door! Marjorie, I can't get off my handcuffs because my hands are full of lube! Marjorie, what's a restraining order? That's not fair. I know what a restraining order is. Now. Good, because I am putting a restraining order on me helping you. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, what about me helping you? <laughs> When have you ever helped me? How about last year? I helped with your school's Christmas pageant. Uh, you got drunk, and you sewed a kid into a Santa suit with no breathing holes. Oh, please. He loved the attention. Well, so do you. Mm-hmm. But you're not getting it from me anymore. As of now, no more helping. You help yourself, I'll help myself, and we'll both be helpless. You know what I mean. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
I want a motorcycle. And you believe there's one hidden in the wishing couch? No. <sighs> I made a really hot tape of me having sex with that chick from Baywatch. Of course you did. And when I find it, I'm going to sell copies and make thousands of dollars. I could use your help for the internet distribution. Oh, sure. Uh, and also, do you have any PCP you'd like me to sell to kids? No. I was being facetious. I was using sarcasm to point out the lunacy of your plan. If by lunacy you mean total genius. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> How's my makeup? What are we watching? Uh, my porn tape. <gasps> We're having a legally blonde, too. Does this woman even know she's being filmed? Of course. It was her idea. After Baywatch ended, she missed the glamour of the spotlight. But it's so out of focus, you can't even tell who that woman is. In fact, you can't even tell that it's a woman. It could be a bear. It could be some form of ball. Well, you gotta play a hate, you know? It's my first film. Be supportive. At least tell me I look good. Do I seem gay to you? Admiring the physique of a beautiful man does not make you gay. All right, you look good. Homo. You're mean and your tape sucks. I hear what you're saying, lady. Good. I'm gonna get that motorcycle. I'm gonna have to reshoot it. Oh. Well, that's cool. I'll get another celebrity, bigger one. One who'll let me do anal. Ew. That's motorcycle money. So he's got a big schlong. I make more money. I trade. Because I get the occasional ass stuck in the hot tub, it doesn't make me helpless, does it? No, hot tubs are treacherous. They should call them danger tubs. I got my arm caught once. My nipple ring had fallen off and I had to die for it. You know, because it was a diamond. And how was I going to explain that to Johnny and Pierce? Oh, crap. What? It's Marjorie. Winner of the Miss Bitch pageant 2004. Said the bitter runner-up. Aw, oh, you guys should probably talk. I'm gonna go get high in the bathroom. Here for dinner? Why don't you help yourself to a table? Why are you so mad at me? Because you're so mad at me. But I had a reason to be mad at you. A reason. Jane, we've been friends forever, and I don't want to lose that, but, you know, I also don't want to have to always get you out of trouble. Fine. But can I get you out of trouble? I'm not in any trouble. Oh, really? Yeah. So you don't think it's trouble that your boyfriend, Steve, is a total L.A. poser? I would if he were, but he isn't. Is he? Let's just say I had a private dick client of mine run a background check on him. He's a producer, not a film. A copy for the crew. He's a gopher, Marjorie. You lie to me? No. Men never lie to women in happy gumdrop delusion land. If you don't believe me, just ask him a few pointed questions. Like these that I have prepared. Today, it's Little Black Book Weekend. Brittany Murphy hosts a marathon of movies, including Riding in Cars with Boys. It's one of my favorites. And she'll be talking about her new movie, Little Black Book. I play a sneaky girlfriend. Don't miss this exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Brittany Murphy. Little Black Book Weekend. Today, starting at 4, only on Oxygen. Get inside the mind of a killer as Oxygen uncovers why these women snap. She just didn't want to deal with it anymore. Premieres Friday night. Why is it that some intimate problems start as one and then go to two? Like when you've got feminine itch and odor. Only one feminine cream is formulated for both. Maximum Strength Vagisil Cream. Only Vagisil combines odor-blocking technology with these powerful itch medicines. Its fast-vanishing formula blocks odor while it helps take the suffering out of itch. Two problems, one solution. Only Vagisil. A better understanding of better intimate care. If you have stains like these, 
rust stains, lime scale buildup, or calcium deposits, you need Lime Away Lime and Rust Remover because it works better than even the leading lime scale and rust remover. In lab tests on rust stains, it's clear that Lime Away is tougher. Even after a thousand strokes, the CLR side is still incredibly stained. And Lime Away's thick formula coats surfaces for powerful cleaning action. All around your house, Lime Away is the expert lime and rust cleaner. So remember, for lime, calcium, and rust, Lime Away is a must. Suarez, I have some good news. I'm taking you out. Oh, you said you had good news. I do. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to Geico. Give me the ball. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Once there was a maiden who suffered from such a dull complexion, she thought herself an ugly duckling. One day, she came upon St. Ives Apricot Scrubs with 100% natural exfoliants to clean deeper than deep. So her dull, dead skin disappeared. She touched her soft, smooth face and realized she was radiant. Now try our extra mild, gentle scrub. The radiance is yours. The secret is Swiss. Say nice. I don't really know what makes it so me. But it's not because of how I look in it. It's how I feel I look in it. I love black. A little mystery. The darker side. I'm very black or white. So, of course, I'm very careful about how I wash my blacks. I always use the gentle cycle and only will light dark. To keep your blacks blacker than black, always use will light dark in the gentle cycle. Always use the will light cycle. I mean, if this became my little gray dress, well, I don't think I'd feel quite the same about it. Love your clothes with will light. When I work my jeans, I like a little flare. I like them strong, I like them blue. When I work my jeans, I feel sassy. I like the boot cutters, it flares out a little bit. I've got curves, so I want to show them off. Love it. I rock. Fierce. 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 All jeans, all screen tees, on sale, plus fashion clearance. Fierce. Good life, great price. What about Pamela Lee? No, she already made a sex tape. Okay, how about Emma Thompson? Emma Thompson lives in England. She's a serious actress. She does Shakespeare, for God's sake. Exactly. She's a classy lady who picks classy projects. Let's see. Remains of the day. Sense and sensibility. Honey, I screwed a nobody so he could buy a motorcycle. Wait, I got it. Sharon Stone. You think you could just get Sharon Stone in the sack and film it? Why not? She looks pretty crazy. That'll give you. Hey! How you doing, cutie? Good. How you doing, Steve? How's your weekend? Oh, it's been tough. It's been tough. You know, the studio's been giving me a tough time. Oh, that's, uh, that's too bad, because I was thinking I could come by the set this week. You know, I would really, really love that, but you know actors, they don't like to be watched. The actors don't like to be watched. Yeah, you know, it's a crazy town. You want a drink? I do, I, I do want a drink, but I have a, I have a question first, <laughs> just for fun. I've always wondered, on a set, what does a best boy do? Uh, what doesn't he do? I mean, he pretty, uh, pretty much does everything, and, you know, he's really good at it. Actually, you know, he's the best. Plus, more importantly, you know, he's the boy, you know what I mean? So he's like a boy who does everything. Yeah, 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 we should just call him the everything boy, but I guess that's some sort of union thing. Interesting, because I, I think I read somewhere that the best boy was an electrician. Did, did you say best, best boy? I, I, I thought you said best boy. See, you are so funny. He's a funny and cute. Cute and funny. Okay. Look, I'm going to have a martini. You? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I'm thinking you're more of a, a liar than a producer. All right. That's cool. You know, liar, producer, it's all showbiz, right, hon? <laughs> Listen, if you're lying to impress me, don't. I have dated busboy slash actors. I've dated substitute teachers, recorded their first demo. I've even dated painters working part-time at Kinko's. Well, that is so depressing. The point is, just be yourself. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. You stop lecturing me, all right? You're starting to sound like my wife. <laughs> uh, whoa. You mean I sound like I, I, I am your wife? Or you actually have a wife that I sound like? 
I, mean, I never said you were the only one. You also never said you were married. You're not even wearing a ring. Duh. I mean, my wife and I have an arrangement, okay? I'm not going to wear my ring when I'm with other chicks. But what kind of animal do you think you're dealing with here? I can't believe you would lie and cheat like this. What are you talking about? This is L.A. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Crazy town. <laughs> but back in Minnesota, where I'm from, men are honest. Yeah, yeah, they may be, they may be pro-gun and, and, and bad in bed. They're honest. Now get out of here before I have you... Before I have you pointed to and laughed at. Okie dokie. <laughs> hey, you know, the funny thing is, is, uh, my wife's from Minnesota, too. It's funny, right? going behind my back to invade my privacy and in my relationship. Hey, you saved me from the nipple and ass-eating danger tub. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, man, that felt good to tell that bastard off. Yeah. You know what would be even better? A massage with a happy ending. No. Yeah, I was thinking more like revenge. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> good for you, right? Sure, fringe a vegetable. What if it's wrapped in cheese? Oh my god, Steve just signed on. He can see that I'm online. This is so humiliating. What should I do? You should key his car. Or put the head of his beloved horse in his bed. Does he have a beloved horse? I don't know. I didn't even know he had a wife. You should put his wife in his car. Oh, that's not so bad. I'm gonna delete him from my buddy list and block him. No, don't block him. Lizzie, do you have any pictures online? Are you kidding? Look at me. Right. What are you typing? Stop doing that. No, she's going to show him her picture. She'll get him interested and then arrange a meeting. You'll tell him you're a power studio executive and you want to back an up-and-coming producer. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. She'll start out flirting and he'll think he hit the mother load of rock and <laughs> <laughs> That sounds fun. <laughs> you know where Monocle? Uh, no. And just when he thinks he has the key to your big, soft, flushy kingdom, you awesome. him! You'll tell his wife he's a philanderer. He collects stamps? No, that's a philatelist. I did to the Postmaster General. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. I never get to be one of the girls. You barely know her and she's pretty. Can we trust her? You can trust me and I'm practically a supermodel. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hello. I'm blonde, I'm not deaf. Okay, you're in. Goody, because I have a date with your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> oh, happy day. What about Julie Andrews? She's 60. I saw her in a movie last night. She looked great. You were high, and that was the sound of music. I'd still put a doe in her, dear. What about Marissa Marino from the Alien Invasion movies? I'd like to invade her, alien. Do another one. No, no. Marissa Marino's right over there. She was the sole survivor on Space Station Callisto. If not for her steely resolve, we'd all be enslaved by Gorgons. Dude! Everybody knows that. Shut up and discreetly look. Discreetly. Discreetly. Oh, no. My spoon. Ow! Oh, are you all right? I'm fine. It's... It's just been one of those things. You poor thing. Tell me all about it. Well, first, I lock my keys in the car. Then, I cut myself shaving. Then, I get the bright idea to clean out my ears, apparently with so much vigor that afterwards, I can't hear. So, I totally freak out. I go to the emergency room where they clean my ears out with a water pick, which actually feels really good. It's the best. And then when they show you the wax? It's so satisfying. Mm. <sighs> God, I'm in such a state, I can't believe anyone recognizes me. Are you kidding? You're Marissa Marino. I mean, you're a movie star. A really hot movie star. 
And you are? Davis. The guy who's about to buy you a caffeinated beverage. <laughs> sure, I know. I've already got the spoon to stir it with. Don't steal their roommate's shoes. Hello, James. They just borrow them without asking. Give me back my shoes. No, I'm tall. I am meeting fabulous guys who I usually can't even see from my eye level. But they're my shoes. You are scaring the tall boys. Good girl, don't. Coming up next. I've got a secret, and it's steamy. I've been in hot water before, but not like this. And I can't wait. To do it again. New VO5 Nourishing Oasis. Shampoos and conditioners that are ignited by your shower steamy heat. Every hair felt revived. Like breathing flowers. What condition my condition was in. New Nourishing Oasis from Alberto VO5. My secret for killer hair. Boom, boom, boom. And first prize goes to Jane Sanders. <laughs> who magnified the germs found in soap scum right in her own bathroom. Fact, just because you're working hard to clean your bathroom doesn't mean your cleaner is. Lysol Basin Tub and Tile Cleaner is absolutely the best at eliminating soap scum and grime. Plus, it's Lysol, so it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Mom, where did the germs go? For my family, I trust Lysol. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. I'm sorry, Sean, this is Blue. Can I help you? Yes, I've got my keys in my car. Let me help you help me get those out of there. You mean it'll just pop open? Yes, ma'am. Yes! <laughs> yes! This is great technology. Oh. Thank you. OnStar is available on 51 GM models. Oh, we go, go. <laughs> if you know your kid has been smoking pot or drinking, find a way to take action. Get tough, get creative, just get through. When I work my jeans, I like a little flair. I like them strong, I like them blue. When I work my jeans, I feel sassy. I like the boot cutter, it just flares out a little bit. I've got curves, so I want to show them off. I love it. I rock. Fierce. Fierce. Jeans. All jeans. All screen tees. On sale. Plus fashion clearance. Fierce. Good life, great price. Get the bottle with the blue M. M Professional. Hair care for men. Spare change. Now, for less than the spare change you carry in your pocket every day, you can get your child started with Hooked On Phonics, the number one trusted name in teaching children to read. Yes, now you can immediately start your child with Hooked On Phonics for $29.95. That's less than a dollar a day. Spare change. When we learned we could get our daughter started on Hooked On Phonics for $29.95, we said, why wouldn't we? We spent more on a pair of sneakers or a couple of DVDs. When my son started to read after using the Hooked On Phonics program, I knew I'd made the right choice. Hooked On Phonics is the right choice, and now it's the affordable choice, too. Because now you can get started for $29.95, but you must call now before the price changes. If you want your child to read better, you want Hooked On Phonics. Call 1-800-279-9801 in the next 10 minutes to get started for $29.95 and find out about free shipping. Dramatic reading improvement guaranteed in four weeks or your money back. Call now. I've been taking this strip aerobics class, and it really helps you break out of your shell, you know. You get real comfortable in your sexuality. Go, strippers. Now shake it down. Shake it down. Swing it around. All right, now take it between your legs. Haunch it down. Work it, girls. Work it, girls. Come on, let me see that backside. Yeah. Shake your backyard. Shake your backyard. We're all just a bunch of uncoordinated women dreaming that we're Britney Spears, I suppose. But you let yourself go. It's really fun. If they sit across the room, how can we possibly see what's going on? Oh, we're streaming video from this PDA. Lizzie has a spy cam so we can see everything they do. Because it's so much fun watching the girl of your dreams seduce someone else on equipment it took me all day to rig. I need to call my psychiatrist. Okay, here he comes. Look 
at him, all chatty and la, la, la. I bet he's lying how he vacations in Martinique with the Spielbergs. Ugh, what idiot would believe that? The color is good on you. Hey, guys. Uh, this is Marissa Marino. Wow. I've seen, like, all your movies. Thanks. Let's go in the alley and make out. So, what are you guys going to wear to the premiere of Davis' sex tape? Shh. When's she going to dump him? This is torture. Is she wearing a monocle? Oh, I hate her. Oh, she's good. What an actress. It is amazing she doesn't work more. <laughs> So beautiful. You wouldn't say that if you saw my old nose. <clears throat> Let's do some role playing. Uh, All yeah. right. You be Marissa Marino. <laughs> and I'll be the guy who sleeps with Marissa Marino. <laughs> <laughs> Feinberg, uh, Lizzie, and Marissa Marino making out with other guys on the same night. This is the doomsday scenario we discussed. Okay. I didn't know he had this much spit in him. Somebody do something. Well, according to my experience, this usually works. Ow! I think I want to date him. What? <laughs> uh, he's a really sweet guy. No, he's not. He's married. What is the matter with you? You dated him. What was the matter with you? Nothing. I am sticking to the plan. You ruined the plan where we, the girls, are mean to him. Now, this does not include smothering him with your boobs unless you can actually kill him. And by the way, this is why you have never been one of the girls, OK? <gasps> Sorry, I'm not good at things. That's why I'm pretty. What? I just don't like confrontation, and I'm really bad at breaking up with people. I usually just let them find me cheating on them. Why didn't you tell us this before? Because I wanted you guys to like me. And then I wanted him to like me. Look, I have good problems. Jane, this whole thing was your plan. I'm beginning to wonder who this revenge is actually for, him or me. March, I promise. I'm going to fix this. How could you possibly fix it? Lizzie has a penis. She has a penis? Yes. But she's so hot. Hot and hung. Oh, my God. But she, she looks so normal. She is normal. She's a normal transgender pre-op. No, but we, 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 we were just making out. <laughs> I guess I proved I'm as much help to you as you are to me. Oh. If I wasn't here, you'd still be dating Steve instead of watching him vomit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. This is a special moment. Yeah. Thank you. That guy's a loser. Oh. Take a lot more than Lizzie having a penis for me to break up with him. Yeah. yeah, I said it. At least this is over. Someone buy me a drink. <laughs> Take your own money. Tonight's episode included music from the World Inferno Friendship Society, Brimstone Janet Robin, and Brimstone Butterfly. You've been a bad boy, haven't you? Have I? I don't remember. You were going to tape me without my knowledge. I'm sorry? I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's get this party started. She's been.